Walter the Lazy Mouse by Marjorie Flack. Chapter 3. How Walter Makes Furniture. When he woke up the next day, Walter looked up at his roof and at his own walls, but he felt that something was missing. Oh dear me, said Walter, I forgot the furniture. He went outdoors, and to his surprise there he found Lulu and Leander and Percy, already waiting for him. Good morning, he said. It is nice of you to come to call so early. We didn't come, said Lulu. Why, you must have come, said Walter, or you would not be here. Oh no, said Lulu. We did not come because we never went away. You see, explained Leander, we live here now. We like it here. That's very nice, said Walter. Would you like me to help build you a house to live in? I am afraid there is not enough room in my house for us all to sleep at night. Thank you, said Percy. We don't need a house. But won't you miss a house for a home? asked Walter. Oh no, said Lulu, laughing. How could we miss something we have never had? Then I am going to make myself some furniture, said Walter, and I don't want you to see it until it is all done, because I want to surprise you. So Lulu and Leander and Percy went off to play, while Walter made himself some furniture. Walter spent a long time making the furniture for his new home. He made himself a beautiful bed out of twigs with a mattress of pine needles, and he made himself a beautiful chair of twigs and grasses, and he made himself a table, but since he had no nails or hammer, he carefully tied all the pieces together with grasses as best he could. When he was finished, he called Lulu and Leander and Percy to come look. Even Turtle came. Although he was much too large to fit into the little house, he put his head through the doorway, and he could see very nicely. "'See my beautiful bed,' said Walter, pointing to the bed he had made. "'What is it for?' asked Percy. "'To sleep in like this,' said Walter, climbing up on the bed and lying down, but crash! Down fell the headboard, and down fell the footboard, and down fell the whole bed with Walter under the pieces. Ha ha ha, laughed the frogs together. That's a funny way to sleep. Walter climbed out from under the pieces, and brushed the pine needles off his clothes. He looked very sad, but then he went on as if nothing had happened. Now, said he, look at my beautiful chair. And he pointed to the beautiful chair which he had made. "'What's it for?' asked Leander. "'You sit down in it like this,' said Walter, and he sat down very carefully in the beautiful chair, but crash! Down he came on the floor, and the chair came down in pieces on top of him. "'Ha, ha, ha!' laughed all the frogs together, as Walter climbed out from under the pieces. "'That is a funny way to sit down!' Walter did not say a word. He waited a moment, and then he smiled and he pointed to the beautiful table he had made. "'Look,' he said, "'look at the beautiful table I have made.' "'What's it for?' asked Lulu, all ready to begin to laugh again. But Walter did not move. He just stood there and pointed at it. "'That,' said Walter, "'is just made to look at.' "'Oh,' said Leander and Lulu and Percy all together. "'But we liked the bed and chair better. "'Won't you make some more?' No, said Walter, shaking his head. No, I don't really think I need any furniture, except the table. End of chapter 3